Welcome to Toy Poloi. Parental guidance. This video contains scenes of Lego destruction. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Poloi. Now in a few months time, in fact in July 2024, I'm taking part in Cobra Convergence 8, which is a month long event all about Cobra and G.I. Joe related stuff here on YouTube. And for that, I'm going to be working on restoring a couple of G.I. Joe figures. In fact, I'm going to be restoring Tomax and Zamot. Not these two figures here, because these are actually in relatively good condition. I have bought a couple of others which are in terrible condition, and those will be the ones that I'm restoring. And so for that project, I've been trying to track down a few parts. I've already tracked down the figures. I've tracked down their weapons. But the one thing I've not been able to get is the sky hook, which is a little uh, winch mechanism that these two guys can hold on to. And then they can shoot down zip lines. And I've looked online at images of it. And I thought it was actually going to be more exciting than it is. I thought it would actually have a little pulley in there that would actually sort of wheel about to enable them to absolutely zoom down a zip line. But it isn't. It's just a single piece of plastic with everything molded together. Now, previously, I have actually played around with these figures and done a little video out in my garden and I made myself a little pulley just using this one that I happen to have around this was actually out in my garage I can't remember what it came from I think it was a washing line or something like that and I just cut a little bit of Lego and stuck it on the bottom and that was enough for them to hold on to and zip down the line and it actually worked really well but as you can see this one looks pretty ugly and doesn't look anything like the original so today what I thought I would do is try and make my own version of the sky hook using a few pieces of styrene and some bits of Lego and make one that actually works that has this little pulley inside that can will spin around so that when you use it on a zip line they really do fly down it. I think the original one because everything is fixed together you're not going to get a lot of speed out of it. There's going to be too much friction. What you want is a little pulley like this. So that's the idea of the project today. I'm going to try and make a sky hook that looks closer to the original but one that works so much better than the original. So let's get on with the project. <laughs> So where to start on a project like this? Well, for me, it's going to be my box of Lego because I know there's going to be pieces in here that I can use and modify to uh, get something that works like the sky hook. I straight away found this little piece here, which is a little sort of T-junction. I think it's part of a pneumatic uh, set from Lego, but you can see that already looks like the handles at the bottom of the sky hook. And just using another piece of Lego like that, you can make something that really does look like the handles. The problem with this Lego piece is it's just a little bit too big. And in fact, if you try and squeeze it into the hands, you'll end up breaking the thumbs off. And I know that based on this sort of really scruffy sky hook that I previously made, I actually sanded down these bits of Lego to make them a bit thinner. So we could easily do that on this, just sand those pieces down. And that will be the bottom part of the sky hook that they hold on to. And that's pretty amazing that you can just do that straight away out of a piece of Lego. So that's the bottom part. Now we need the pulley. And I've sort of looked through here and I've got this pulley, which would work really well, but I think it's going to be a bit too large. If we put that above this and hold it together, it sort of feels a bit large. It might work, so maybe that's the one we use. Otherwise, I've got this smaller piece here, which I think is called a bush. Again, it looks a little bit like a sort of pulley, and that would fit quite nicely as well. Currently, I've only got one of these in yellow, so I've just ordered some in grey. Most Lego parts come in all sorts of different colours, so uh, yeah, they're very cheap to buy. I think I've ordered 10 of them for like less than £2, so uh, those will turn up shortly. But in the meantime, I can certainly get to work with this. So I think possibly that will make a better a little pulley although that bigger one again could be an option now we need to actually start constructing something and see if we can put anything together and for that i'm going to be using some styrene sheet because uh, that's the easiest way of making complicated shapes basically we need to make a c-shaped piece that we can sort of attach everything to and then drill holes through so that we can put the pulley at the top and then paint it so um, yeah this is a good starting point as you can see i've already got something that you can basically see is going to work we've just got to sort of fine tune it and get it all fitted together so let's get cutting styrene. A bit more tinkering off camera and I've sort of changed my plan just a little bit. Uh, the little T-bar here that I was going to use for the handle, it actually turns out that these whip antennas fit in the hands a lot better and you've got this little pip at the end which sort of holds the uh, hand in place. You can see here if I just clip it into the hand it clips in really nicely and then that little pip stops the hand sliding off the end. So I'm going to be using those to make the T-bar. I've got two of them, I will just cut the ends of these off. I'm going to cut both of these posts off and then drill a hole that's at the same size of this which I believe is two millimeters in the end and then I'll insert those so we have those little pips on either end that should work really well and then I am going to be using this pulley just because I think it's a better pulley it's a 
bigger size and I reckon if I clip it onto one of these little clips here I can cut the end of that off and then we can actually insert that through as well and that's how we'll attach it to the bit of styrene that I've uh, yet to make. So I'm going to do all of this modifying of the Lego pieces first just to get everything ready and then we'll make the styrene piece at the end because that, that actually has to fit around all of these pieces that I make now. So I'm going to get cutting, I've got my plastic nippers here, I've got a pin vise with various different sized drill bits in it because I've got to do a little bit of drilling and um, yeah let's just get sort of cutting and making but I think all of these pieces is a sort of six or seven Lego pieces here we can make a sky hook out of them and it will look and work a lot better than the original. And so this is what I've made. So you can see here we've got the ends of the uh, two whip antennas and I've cut off the pieces of that T-bar and just stuck those in. So we've now got a better shaped grip that doesn't actually fit in the hands. If I just bring in one of the figures here, you can see they clip onto that and it holds really nicely. They're not actually going to fall off of that because of that little sort of bobble on the end. You can't actually sort of get these figures to slide off. So it means when they're going down a zip wire, they're going to be firmly held onto this. So that's a, a nice little sort of a modification to that. I could have sanded down that original T-bar, but it would have taken quite a while and it wouldn't have been as good as these. So that, yeah, I'm happy that I've Sort of work that solution out. I've then cut a small part of another Technic pin there just to add to the top so we've got a little sort of flat surface and that I can then use to attach to the piece that I'm going to make in a minute out of styrene that will stick on the bottom and then we have the little uh, pulley section here so what I've done is I've cut down uh, an, a sort of Technic pin so we've just got half of it here and I've sanded down at one end of it and this is what the uh, pulley sits on and that's how it sort of spins freely and then inside of that I'm going to stick this bar I was going to use a uh, leg aerial but I've actually got these pieces which are sort of extended pins and I'm going to stick that through like that and just have a little piece out of that end and a little piece out of that end because my plan is when I make the u-shaped piece or the c-shaped piece out of styrene I want to be able to push an axle through and still have this pulley move so I'm going to be drilling holes and this is a good way of doing it because I can actually take this piece completely off so we have this little axle pin in there inside the pulley I can put that in my u piece and I can push this through and hold everything in place and it would look very neat then so um yeah everything is working nicely those lego pieces are looking very good so let's get on with the styrene construction P -O -Y -P -O -L -L -O -I.
and here we go here is my sort of semi-finished skyhook as you can see it does actually look pretty good uh, we've got this little pulley on here which has a nice sort of a freewheeling motion to it uh, i've made the u-shaped piece out of some two millimeter thick styrene sheet which i've drilled holes through to fit the lego piece and then we have the little lego handle on the bottom of it as well that's looking really nice i still need to trim this off but for the moment i haven't trimmed it off because i want to spray paint the rest of the skyhook a sort of uniform gray color and i don't want to uh, spray paint this pulley because it is at the moment free wheeling i think if i put any paint on that it might just add a little bit of uh, friction to it so the reason i've left that post in is because i can currently remove it so i can pull that out a little bit awkward to pull out but you can put it out like so oh, there we go and I can get the uh, main little pulley out so I'm left with this piece here so I'm going to take this out into the garage and give it a quick coat of paint I've got a grey plastic primer paint which I'm going to put on it and I think that grey is probably the colour I'm going to leave it so once that's all dry I'll give it a clear coat with a Mr Hobby semi-gloss paint just to make it have that sort of nice sheen to it and then we can put this pulley in finally and I will cut this piece of Lego to the right length and here you go here is that piece all sprayed up it looks a whole lot better now just with a quick coat of grey so that's a grey primer and then I put a, a clear semi-gloss on top of that just to give it a little bit of a sheen I think that's looking pretty good last thing we need to do is just trim up this piece of Lego and then we can put the whole thing together and uh, check that it still works I'm just going to trim this off with a pair of plastic nippers like so we'll give the end a little file and then everything should still push together and be quite a snug fit but the uh, pulley uh, should hopefully still rotate freely So there we go that is it all put together and you can see it's looking really rather nice i like the two tone sort of shades of gray and the pulley really does a free wheel very nicely so what we've got to do now is actually test this i'm going to set up a zip wire in my garden we'll take tomax and xaml outside and see how well this actually works Now you know, and knowing is half the battle. And there we go, that is the Skyhook all working. And as you can see, it works remarkably well, considering this is just made out of a few little bits of Lego and some styrene sheet. It really does fly down that zip wire. And I can see that this works a whole lot better than the original because we actually have a pulley that works. So it's free wheeling, which means you get a much faster speed when it's shooting down the line. So I'm really happy with how this has turned out. If you want to have a go at making your own, you just need those few bits of Lego, which I will have listed during this video. So do check out those numbers and get those pieces if you want to have a go. Yourself. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, this is a little pre-project that I've been working on for Cobra Convergence 8. My main video will be in July. If you want to know more about Cobra Convergence 8, then follow the link in the description. You'll find out who's taking part and what sort of things are going on. As I say, it runs for the entire month of July this year. Uh, so do check that link out. If you've enjoyed this video, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified each time I upload a new video. And if you have really enjoyed it, then why not think about becoming a supporter of Toy Ploy? You can either become a Patreon or YouTube channel member and you get access to to exclusive content and early access to all of my videos links to that are also in the description of this video and thanks for watching thanks for watching toy ploy subscribe for more great videos